Hello and welcome back to Letter with ABC, a series on hand lettering. I can't believe we're actually on our last episode. I hope by now you've gotten some progress, you've improved on your work, and of course, learn more about yourself and how you do your lettering. But before I let you go, I want to show you guys a little easy DIY project that you can do as our final project for this series. We're going to be doing um, notebook covers and it's gonna be as easy as one, two, three. So make sure to keep watching to know more about how you can do this on your own. So for this project, you will be needing a blank notebook. I'm using a craft covered one. Also some paint. You will be needing either acrylic or gouache paint to get that opaque effect. Tissue paper, also a glass of water for mixing the paint. And of course, your good old trusty pencil and also a brush for painting. And I forgot to mention that you will also be needing a palette for this particular project. So we're going to start off by tracing over the quote. I'm just using a very generic quote which is create today. I really love putting out mantras, especially for notebook covers. Actually, this is a journal that I'm currently using and I think it's really important to Put it like front and center. I didn't really do that much layout here as you can see. It's just like basic just there on the cover and what I'm going to do with my palette is basically put out all the colors that I need. So just a reminder gouache is similar to watercolor except the transparency is more opaque and for this particular one, I believe the Schmincke set that I got is a bit permanent. I'm not entirely sure, but if you want to be more precise, I, I highly recommend getting acrylics. Even the inexpensive ones work in this case, but if you really want to protect your journal cover, then you can just wrap it in plastic or something. So I'm just going to use my paintbrush and mix some of the colors. You will see I didn't mix them entirely and that is for a very particular reason. So also for this project, I highly recommend that you don't use that much water. And you will see that I'm actually working with the palette. I don't really blot in too much water because I don't want the cover to be wet. Remember that this is a craft cover and this is actually a cover of a notebook. So I don't really want it to be like the watery consistency that I usually use for watercolor. So what I'm doing here is actually apart from tracing over the pencil marks which immediately erases them is I am laying over color. So here from the base I am just painting some pinks and yellows and some whites but what I like about gouache is you can really add more character to your letters because you can trace over and it's opaque meaning you can add more and more layers to your letter forms and really create this very like painted effect it kind of reminds me of impasto effect which is popularized by van gogh he did it on his paintings which is like a layered effect that makes your art look more not necessarily 3d but more like it has a lot of colors but not equally mixed on the canvas so that's something that i'm trying to create here because it's i know this is just like a simple quote but with that sort of technique that we're applying it makes it look more dynamic and look more flowy and i like the movement of the energy of these colors and for the bottom part i decided to just include the blue since the set i got is a cmyk one i like to incorporate a lot of different elements and usually the white layers are the one i put on top if you're very observant you will see that on the upper right i sort of like had like a little paint accident there so i'm just gonna cover it up later so with this is also key, it's also key to experiment with the colors that you can create so i created this really vibrant violet which i really like and i'm just going to tone down some areas and equally distribute the white also in this particular technique be wary of the whites because usually it tends to overpower the whole layout so i always try to cover it up with a darker shade personally i love experimenting with this gouache technique especially on my lettering because it makes it look more colorful and not in a very obvious way it it looks more like actually in watercolor counterparts this is kind of like gradient but in, in this isn't gradient it's more like um layering and i like this effect so i'm not quite satisfied yet i'm just going to go ahead and add and color in some areas to sort of 
frame the whole cover and make it look more have more character i guess and it's also important in this case since I'm using a lot of colors like their blues, violets, pinks, yellows, whites to distribute the color evenly. So I'm doing that with this yellow where I am going to put over different letter forms and just, you know, add more flow to it. You can always kind of like use it as shortcut. You don't have to just use yellow and then use it towards the whole layout. You can always just add it at the last minute like what I'm doing here and it sort of has that effect that really makes it stand out more. So I'm just adding some finishing touches and darkening some areas, continuing some strokes and basically that is it for this really simple DIY project that I'm sure you can have fun with and practice at home. So this is the final project and I hope you enjoyed it. For my letter with ABC series, congratulations for making it this far and I hope you enjoyed learning with me. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this series and I would love to see your progress on Instagram. Make sure to tag me at ABC and add the hashtag letter with ABC series. Let me know what you think and let me know how you have been doing and make sure to follow me also online on different platforms for updates and more. This has been Abby once again and I will see you guys on the next video. Make sure to like, share, and subscribe for updates on my upcoming videos on anything and everything about lettering and journaling. Bye!